Hey, how's it going? Anyway, right, I've decided to do a video today on the Bullworker X5 Pro. But they've decided, you know, to go and do, to tarmac the roads outside my house. So I'm sorry if you hear any noise in the background. I've tried closing all the windows or the doors, so it should be okay. But, uh, ooh, flipping road workers. Surprised to see them working, to be honest. <laughs> anyway. It won't last long, they'll be having a coffee break. They've been at it for 10 minutes now. Coffee breaks do any minute. <laughs> Look at the size of that hole, Alwyn. It's massive, isn't it? Cup of tea, boys? Yeah! Right, so I just wanted to catch up with the X5 Pro. I've been using it for about five to six weeks now, and I just wanted to catch up, give you an update on what I thought of it, and on what I think, or how I think it compares to the old X5 Pro. Right, so I'll start off with the pros. Excuse the pun, X5 Pros. <laughs> and then I'll go to maybe some cons, potentially. The first pro uh, for me is the size. Now, I really like the fact that it's a little bit smaller. Now, I'm only five feet eight, or five foot nine, maybe five foot eight and a half, the half's important. Ho -ho! And <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> that, so I'm about one seven three, one seven four meters. So uh, I think the smaller form factor works much better for me. Perhaps if he was a bit taller, maybe you know the longer version would be better for you. Uh, uh, maybe the classic they've got bull worker but I much prefer the smaller size. And it's being more compact, and the fact you can actually strip it down uh, means you can just carry it in a suitcase. This is a bit more difficult to take in a suitcase, isn't it? <laughs> right. So I do like the small form factor, and I feel it suits my size, my height, much better than that one. The second thing is, is that the ability to change the resistance on it via the springs. So you've got all these different springs you can put in it. Um, it's, it's a huge advantage over the old X5 Pro. Massive advantage. Um, the reason being is, is some exercises can be too difficult to push, so you can put the lower resistance spring in, and some exercises are just too flipping easy. And I'll give you an example. So, there's an exercise you do with the X5 Pro, or so the, the, X5, the old X5, and that is here, and you do a tricep push down. Okay, I'll do some tricep push downs, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, time is <laughs> So, you get what I mean. It's just too easy. It's just not enough resistance there, okay? However, <laughs> however, you stick the, um, I've put the black spring in this one. I think the red spring is the hardest one. Uh, I, am, I don't need the red spring quite yet, uh, but maybe in the future I will. Poof, poof, toilets are that away. Anyway, <laughs> so look at the difference now with, that red, with the red spring in it, or the black spring, sorry. So from here, now we're talking, now I got some resistance. And it's the same, uh, with, so you can do a chest fly with these, so you just put, wrap the arms up opposite side, and you can do this, okay, and push out, and, and again, it's the same thing. It's a piece of piss, right? It's just not enough resistance. Nah, rubbish! Okay, however, with that black spring in here, let's have a look, if I can get my flipping hands in it, Okay, from here, right. Oh, now I can feel, I can actually really feel that in my chest. Way, way better. So the fact that you can change your springs, uh, change the resistance in the springs is really, really good. Another thing I like about the X5 Pro and the X5, the old X5, is the strap system. Okay, so you've got the two straps here. Because um, a lot of people complained about 
range of motion about the older bull worker, sort of bull worker classic with just one guide rope or, or strap or whatever you want to call it, okay? And I'll give you an example of that. So you want to be able to work your muscles for the full range of the muscle, okay? So if I just do, say, a, a concentration curl now, let's have a look, okay? So I'm doing a concentration curl, I'm gonna concentrate, whoa. So from here, I'm gonna do a concentration curl there, okay? You can see the range of motion isn't great, okay? So I'm not working for the full length of that muscle. However, I can do 10 here, and I've worked this small part here, then what I can do is, just get that there, take the first strap here. Now, you can see I've got more range of motion, okay? And I can work the middle part of the bicep. Then what I can do is put my foot under this strap here, yoink. Okay. And now I can work the upper part of the bicep, right there. So, you can do more range of motion with the X5 and the X5 Pro. One of the things missing from the X5 Pro is the handles on the old X5. So these handles did come in handy. And so for instance, we're talking about range of motion, working the muscles in a different direction, different places, so the more the muscle gets worked. And this is ideal, so you could work the chest this way and this way. But you could also work the chest with palms down this way and this way. Uh, similarly, with the, the a bicep curl, you could work it that way, and then you can grab it there and do like a hammer curl, work out brachialis, and do it that way, okay? And obviously the other side. However, there is a kind of a workaround. So you can grab it here, okay? And if you notice with this one, the X5 Pro, that turns quite easily. So what you can do, palm it down, turn that that way, okay? And there you go. So you've pretty much got the same movement. The only drawback is you'd have to do the other side. Palm down, there, like so. Same with the hammer curl, you grab it here. There, like that. And same on the other side. Now, I'm not sure why they couldn't put one of these lips or one of these grips on this side. It could be to do with patent. And also, I don't think they could put them on both sides. One, because I think it could do with the patent li or licensing. And secondly, the X5, the old X5, I think had two springs, one on either side. I have never taken this apart, but looking at the patent drawings, it looks like there's a spring here and a spring here. That would be very difficult to have interchangeable springs, having to change two springs both sides. And I don't know how, I mean, potentially you could do it, but I think it's a lot to do with patenting and licensing. So maybe they can't put a lip there, but what they could do, I think would be a good idea, let me know in the comment section what you think, is make it like a lattice sort of scoring into the metal here. Because sometimes when you're doing this and you're getting a bit sweaty, you've had a good workout and you're getting a bit sweaty, the, the hands start slipping, okay? You get a bit sweat, palms get all greasy, and like, whoosh, okay? So if it had like a, either if they could put a lip there, like one of these lips here, or just a lattice effect scored into the metal, like you see on a dumbbell. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I'll show a picture here somewhere, okay? Uh, so you get a good grip on it, so you're able to do these exercises. Here we are, it's an idea for your bull worker, have a think about it. Another minor drawback, it is minor, it's only petty, okay? But on the old X5 Pro, I'll show you a close-up picture as well, it's got two joins in the straps, okay? Now, you might say, well, what difference does it make? I mean, one join or two joins, because the new bull worker X5 Pro has one join there. Well, the join stops it going skewy from going off course. So what, what I would suggest is maybe look into putting two joins. So 
one there and one there and one there and one there. So when the, that hits the top, the rope, it doesn't go skew if it doesn't go all over the place. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean now. I'm gonna get down on the floor in a second just to show you what I mean if I'm doing a low row. Right, I'm down on the floor and I'm doing a low row for the back, okay? And I wanna get a bit more full range of motion, so I'm using the outer straps. Now look what happens. Can you, and I've got to keep adjusting and off it goes to the other side. <laughs> there you go. And there it goes again. It's a bit of a fault. Um, and if it had, this doesn't happen as much with the, the old X5 because of the two joins here. But I do, I do think that these joins are in the wrong place. They should be both, they should both meet in the center. So when you pull a strap either side, one's blocking one way, one's blocking the other. But it doesn't happen as much with this one because it's got two, uh, two joins on the, on the strap. Let's just see, give an example here. Right, so I just get that one join there, one join there. Can you see it's not quite as bad with the two joins? You can make adjustments. Okay, it's, it's still doing it, but not as much. And I think if these two joins here, if they had a join here and a join there, that would be perfect because one would stop the other. Do you know what I mean? If one, if one stopped you and one stopped you, that would lock it in, okay? Can you see already? Look, it's just going all over the place. <laughs> and I think that's because it's got one join. Anyway, there you go. Okay, and there you go. If you've got one of these, let me know what you think in the comment section or why you're thinking about getting one. Oh, oh, oh. Now, you always sometimes get an argument in the comment section. You never see bodybuilders using these, meh. Well, you never see us jabbing stuff in our ass, do you? <laughs> right? But also, it's not made for bodybuilders, okay? It's made for home workout, for people like me or you, whatever, whoever's watching this. And you can get a decent physique from this, this bit of a kit. Any bulwark you can. The problem is, is that a lot of people are not consistent, don't use it correctly, and don't use progressive resistance. The muscle needs to adapt. The muscle needs to be given a stimulus, okay? And that stimulus has to, so example, if I keep doing the same rep range with the same resistance, uh, time after time after time, the muscle will adapt and then stop getting any stronger or any bigger. Okay, so you have to use progressive resistance. And that's how the muscles grow and tone. Can you do progressive resistance with this one? Absolutely, more reps, use the springs, duh, okay. Um, look, I'm not gonna look like Ronnie Coleman in his heyday. And would I wanna look like Ronnie Coleman in his heyday? Probably not, he couldn't get close to fit him. How do they wipe their asses? <laughs> I don't know. Did they use a BD? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going off on one tangent here. Let's get back on track. <laughs> but I think this is a great bit of kit. Um, and I've loved using it for the last six weeks. Anyway, if you got this far, thanks for watching. For the ones who haven't got this far, ah, they can piss off. They're not going to, want, they're not going to know I've said that because they haven't got this far, have they? <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.